What about making your sound better? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Alan Komotchev, and in this video, we're going to be learning how to record stuff. So often I like to work with artists and a lot of the times we just make some music in the software and we don't really get into actual recording stuff. But a lot of the times as well, the artist wants to record some guitar or sing or rap or stuff like that. So if you don't really know how to record that, you know, then your collaboration is not going to really turn out the way you want it to be. You know, so you better know how to record. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up your FL Studio uh, so it's ready for recording. And then after that, we're going to be actually recording some stuff, you know. So uh, let's just straight up dive into this and see how to set up FL Studio. First thing that you want to do is you want to kind of pick a channel where you're going to be having that recording in. So, for example, I just chose this insert 10. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the options, I'm going to go to audio settings, and now we can just kind of select the required driver. So in order to record, I select the Apple Studio ASIO driver, just like that. And I click here and I usually go the lowest buffer size. So there's no delay or something like that because when I'm recording an artist, often if I go higher buffer size, the voice is really dragging along. It's almost impossible to record. So you want to go at a really lower buffer size. And that's pretty much it in this section. Now we're going to close this up. And as soon as we click here and click on one of these, it's instantly going to read out the microphone signal right here. So as you can see, I'm talking and it's, and it's at the same time triggering my voice in FL Studio just like that. And that's pretty much it. If you click none again, it won't record. So let's just click back here. And if we go to a plugin called Edison, we can just straight up record it. So I'll just click forever so it doesn't stop after 30 seconds and click record. And now as you can see, as I'm talking, it's recording my voice. Okay, as you can see, it's not that difficult. And now I'm going to just pretty much take this little Korg synthesizer and uh, record some really interesting bass sounds to this. So uh, let's see what we can come up with. All right, cool, and that's pretty much it for the synthesizer. We can kind of put this on the table, and now, as you can see, if you look at the product file, we have the recording right here in the playlist. And that is pretty much how you can record stuff, you know, so let me just kind of quickly chop it up, you know, maybe do something with it.
Now, this might sound weird too, but for me, this is like the perfect sample for, for example, Avian stuff in the background in my tracks, you know? So oftentimes I have these uh, breaks in my tracks where there's not too many things going on. And I like to add these really weird type of ambient sounds in the background there, you know, really filtered out, reverb, delayed. And uh, that's kind of my style of uh, music, I guess. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much the basics of recording uh, your sounds into FL Studio. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.